Hi everybody, welcome back to Battlefield 5. It is the 4th of June 2020 and the last content update for this game has just dropped. Um, there's numerous guns, gadgets that have been dropped in and most importantly two new maps. Provence 64, um, which I, th it's, I understand is a Provence was already in the game apparently, and this is a bigger version of it. And Al Marge Encampment, or Al Marige Encampment. But it kind of sums up really Battlefield 5. That so we've got <laughs> we've got two new maps, which is great. So as someone who would you know, I haven't played much Battlefield 5 ever since the Pacific DLC. You know, I might want to fire up the game, do the update, and then, I don't know play those two maps perhaps so let's go down here and go okay so let's play Provence so if we go into there list the games so these are the ones let's have a look so so I can play Provence they've got a Provence playlist that rather strangely includes Panzerstorm and Alson and Dan which is a bit odd <laughs> I don't know, surely it would just be Provence all the time um, and if I just go in and play Conquest um, we can have a look. So this is this is the conquest um, map rotation. So we've got Provence, Panzerstorm, Elson Dan, Pacific Storm, Eugenia, Solomon, Tristid, Mercury, Wake, Aerodrome, Aras, Marita, Operation Underground, Rotterdam, Fiel, Al Marge Encampment. There it is. So that's the other new map. But we can't really we can't play them um, in a specific playlist, which is you know when when you get an update to maps generally what would happen is you would you know when we would get the DLC for Battlefield 1 or Battlefield 4 or Battlefield 3 or even Hardline you would then get to play those wouldn't you and you, you would play them play them play them and then eventually those maps would become part of the other ones so that for me this kind of sums up the decision making of DICE with Battlefield 5 and the, the it's just incomprehensible someone didn't didn't say okay so these are the two maps let's put them in a playlist and let's just have them playing after another one after the other also the, the ob really obvious thing as well is all the servers European servers have one thing in common haven't they <laughs> it looks like the Germans have they, well, they've won Battlefield 5, because that's where all the servers are, so congratulations, Germany. Brilliant. Anyway, I you probably find I feel a bit... Uh, I sound a little bit... Let's go in, let's play Provence then. Let's give it a go. Um, for old time's sake, this is probably going to be my last Battlefield 5 video ever. Yep. Oh, such, when, when you think about Call of Duty Modern Warfare, when the new Call of Duty comes out, the Black Ops Cold War, or whatever it is, the next one, we're going to be hanging on to Modern Warfare. People are going to be playing Modern Warfare, I think, for the next few years. It's so good, that Call of Duty. In the same way that we hang on to Battlefield 1, we've hang on to Battlefield 4, even Battlefield 3. Battlefield 5, though, has just been crippled by horrendous decisions made by DICE. A rocky start, a good recovery. This game had, had a good recovery. It's going to good places. And then, you know, they just didn't follow through with the content. You know, there was the whole promise of, look, we're not going to have a season pass this year. Don't worry, we're going to keep the player base together. Everybody's going to get all the free maps. You're not going to have to pay extra. Yeah, so what we'll do... Where's me? Right, so I'm in my own squad so I can chat away. So this is Provence, let's dive in. Um, oh, oh, the thing about these updates is it's Americans versus Germans. Who would have thought that in the Second World War? Secure the objectives and defend them from enemy attacks. I mean, it's a great looking game this, isn't it? See where the action is. Ooh. 
So I guess we want to push in from this spawn. Look, look at this scope, right? <laughs> I looked at the scope and it's worse. around the corner. Should we do a bit of sniping? What a crappy little map. <laughs> oh dear. think about the glories of the Battlefield 1 maps.
to that shitty revive mechanic they fucked up from Battlefield 1. Oh, man. In Battlefield 1 and Battlefield 4, to revive you, you would get out your revive tool, which would either be the syringe or it would be the paddles, and you would use it, you know, you would trigger, you would press the trigger to use it, but they've changed it to an interactive icon. Fucking hell, excuse my French, but it really, t it totally ruined it. Because you go to try and revive someone, and then you swap with their weapon. It's just awful. I mean, I'm not going to lie either, I blame a lot of PC players for the way that they... Um, Right, here we go, let's see if we can do it. We're losing objective Charlie. Because they They were so anti Battlefield One, lots of them, even though it was an amazing game. Yeah, by PC players, I mean lots of the big streamers. And what they hated about Battlefield 1 was the random bullet deviation. Which is fine, because I thought it was part, you know, it was kind of part of the history. You know, the fact that you'd fire a gun and the bullet wouldn't always go exactly where you wanted it to. What's that hissing noise?
at this a fucking tractor. with you. Jeez, can I get out of the vehicle any slower?
Oh, be revived by someone. Brilliant, thank you. So we get sniping. Ah, uh, the well-known exploits of the uh, lady Americans. Oh shit! And then <laughs> he would lead the charge across Western Europe with the defeat of Nazi Germany. <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh god. Watch there. I'm dead. 
Why the hell did I need to reload then? Well, there we go. Provence defeated. Just apologies for the poor gameplay. Apologies for not being super... You know, I like to be positive against bat games, especially Battlefield, because we've had so much fun over the years. But this is the end. This is the end of Battlefield 5. If you're a fan of Battlefield 5, well, good luck. You've got some nice free content to play with. For me, I will be uninstalling this game <laughs> now. And uh, I'm done. I'm done. I feel really gutted as well, because I... Just, I was so looking forward to Battlefield 5, you know, I, I pre-ordered the super duper £80 version. I feel like I got so many things we got ripped off with, you know? The bugs at the beginning, having ladies running around the battlefields of, of World War II, the lack of content, the lack of maps, the taking out the spotting, the, the unknown places we were fighting. <laughs> Where's D-Day, you know? Where's the Battle of the Bulge? Where's Operation Market Garden? Instead we're f fighting through... Well, anyway. It's all been very, very bad. Very, very poor. And I just hope... For the next Battlefield, Battlefield 6, DICE, or whoever they hand, hand EA hand it over to... Well, it's going to be DICE, isn't it? I, the problem is that the people who made Battlefield 1 and Battlefield 4 aren't DICE. It, it's not the same company, is it? But anyway, there we go. Battlefield 1. Battlefield 5. I wish it was like Battlefield 1. Done. Cause, cause one more thing. When Battlefield 1 finished, you know, we had the last of the DLCs, the Apocalypse DLC, and we had... And it was like it, was like it went out on a high. This is... Uh, going out on a whimper. Anyway, that's it. I'm done. Bye, everybody.